Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Uda Pandit and you are watching MEP Technical World. In this video, we will learn about basically how to distribute the power in residential housing and resorts. Basically, how to distribute the power in residential housing and resort. Okay. So before I start the session, I would like to request you if you are not yet subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so you will get notification regarding my upcoming videos so let's get started so before uh, going to the distribution system i would like to describe regarding residential housing and resort basically residential housing is the you know the number of house which is planned in large area which is covered by large area like 300 acre 200 acre similarly for resorts so this is also covered by large area where we have a separate villa so villa wise this will be arranged okay so in that area basically how to distribute the power from our backup house BOS backup house where our all engineering system or our controls MEP controls are installed over there so basically from here how to we distribute the power to each house or each villa of MDB okay so so basically this thing we are going to learn okay so let's get into that so initially basically from where will get the power so we'll get the power from utility line source okay so government or private sector so as for the country so basically we take power from utility line so basically generally we have a 11 kb pos means 11 kb point of supply line actually which is outside of the our premises okay so from there we'll take the 11 kb line from the utility line then we'll feed to the our st panel okay st panel which is high tension panel 11 kb vcb panel inside it we have a vacuum circuit breaker it will protect the our inside equipment okay in case we have a fault at utility line side okay so this will protect the our equipment okay and after this panel stb after this st panel it will fade to the step down part step down transformer okay basically this transformer will step down the voltage from 11 kb to 440 volt basically this is 11 kb okay 11 kb to 440 volt okay 11 kb to 440 volt actually this 11000 volt is converted into 440 volt step down because generally we need 440 volt and for three phase okay uh, three phase and for single phase 220 or 230 okay now from the transformer actually from the output of the transformer actually from the secondary side of the transformer it will fade to the our lt panel actually okay and to improve the power factor of the system of this utility line we use generally apfc panel automatic power factor correction panel okay so this panel is basically improve the power factor okay which is maintained near to one okay so generally it is connected in parallel okay to this utility line finally this power is fed to the ats or amf panel which is automatic transfer switch and this is this we uh, also called amf automatic main failure uh, automatic main failure panel okay so here up to here we got 
utility line okay so in case this utility line goes off at that condition we use emergency backup which is here we use dg okay diesel engine set diesel generator set okay now from here this dg power will fed to this ats panel so now here we have a two power available one from utility line and one from dg line so at a time only one power will give to the our lt panel okay in case this will goes off utility line dg will fed the power to this ats panel and it will fed to the our lt panel if utility line come then this will be off and this will fed the power to this ats panel okay now from the output finally this ats or amf panel fed to this lt panel okay now from ats panel actually our power come to lt panel okay now from lt panel now actually power will distribute to different area okay now suppose uh, this is our villa we can say this is our area and where we have a too many villa or we can say too many house okay two story or three story house okay so these are the house and this this house are in phase 1 okay let's give it name phase 1 and another phase 2 and another phase 3 so each phase have a main smdb sub main distribution board okay so basically from the lt panel will fed the power to the each phase smdb sub main distribution board and from there from smdb then will distribute the power to each villa or houses okay so from the lt panel so actually inside it we have a mccb okay separate mccb if you have a major load then it has also acb okay so from the lt panel it will goes to the phase 1 smdb sub main distribution board and from the phase 1 smdb then it will distribute the each villa suppose from villa 1 mdb to uh, villa 12 mdb inside it we have a mcb okay separate mcb for each villa okay three pole ya yeah, four pole four pole mcb so it uh, four pole four three phase and one neutral okay similarly for phase 2 smdb okay now again from phase 2 it will fed to the villa 1 to villa 12 for phase 2 villas similarly for <coughs> now uh, inside it uh, from main db villa itself main db it will distribute the power to light circuit and power circuit okay so similarly for phase 3 this lt panel will fed to the phase 3 smdb and from uh, phase 3 to phase 3 from phase 3 smdb it will fed uh, fed to the power uh, villa 1 to villa 12 of this phase 3 villas okay now phase 4 and similarly for phase 4 villas it will fed okay so in this way power will flow in the villa okay and uh, one thing nowadays we have also outdoor uh, Service station. These things: 11 kV ST VCP panel, VCB panel, and step down transformer, and even LT panel, which is uh, including with the uh, ACB. So these three all are in uh, one package service station. Nowadays we have uh, available, so we can call it package service station. Even we can call it unitized service station. So these three all. this three all are in one okay one box so that's why it is called package sub station or unitized sub station okay which is installed uh, outdoor unit okay but scenario is this one power will flow like this one 
okay now let's move to the uh, real view this uh, real uh, scenario okay so actually here I have taken a uh, resort plants basically this this area is for resorts so here we have a uh, many villas okay so this 14 villa are in phase one let's say phase one okay then this 12 villa for phase two and this is for phase three let's say okay so first what we have to do we have to identify the location of smdb of each phase area suppose this this phase uh, phase one let's say uh, install the smdb over here let's say okay so phase one smdb phase one smdb okay and for for phase two uh, let's install over here okay phase two smdb and uh, for this phase three let's install over here there okay over here and suppose this is our bos okay back of the house where our all engineering equipments or MEP equipments MEP control center are over here okay 11 KB POS now in this scenario what happened actually so basically power will flow from this utility line 11 KB and goes to our BOS area so here we have a ST panel okay from ST panel it will goes to the transformer okay from transformer it will goes to the ATS panel so basically uh, sometimes we have a package like a one LT panel in including LT panel even ATS panel even a a APFC panel even synchronization panel if we have a more than uh, one DG so actually we <coughs> install synchronization panel to inside it okay so from <coughs> now from the now from the LT panel actually we will feed the power to its SMDB generally we use uh, 300 square mm 3.4 core cable so but it depends upon uh, the uh, load calculation and cable sizing as per the load we will select the cable ok so let's suppose we will lay the cable underground from LT panel to each SMDB phase SMDB so from here from here and from here okay now from the each SMDB so suppose this is the phase 1 sub main distributioner now from here we will distribute the power to each villa in this way okay 16 square mm Four core cable will fit to the main DB of each villa. Okay, so in this is in this way actually power will distribute. Okay, similarly for here, power will fit to its villa of phase two from this SMDB. Okay, so basically this is for basics concepts. Basically how the power will flow in. Uh, residential housing or we can say in resorts okay from our BUH building to our its houses okay so let's come to physical view basically how the 11 KB uh, utility supply line look like so this is the 11 KB uh, point of supply of utility line basically this is the D DTR structure okay now from here power will go to this 11 KB ST panel so this is the 11 KB ST panel where we have a VCB so this is the VCB and this is the PT potential transformer and beside it we have a CT current transformer basically this is to measure the current energy section basically we use uh, and these are the control wirings control uh, cabinets okay 
uh, and after that it will fade to the power to this transformer so this is the step down transformer 11 kb by 440 okay so generally at the output side we have a four terminal so three phase and one neutral okay now from the transformer it will fade to this apfc uh, uh, in parallel we will uh, connect the apfc panel to improve the power factor okay so basically this is the capacitor bank now from this <coughs> transformer it will fade to the uh, actually lt panel so this is the dg panel so dg or uh, from the output of transformer both are fed to the ATS panel. So this is the ATS panel where we have a two incoming supply from transformer and DG and one output. This is the auto transfer transformer switch. This is the manual change over switch. We actually change it in manual when power goes off and this is the LT panel. Basically uh, in main incomer we have a ACB and uh, it's LT panel we have a MCCB so uh, from this each MCCB will fade to the each phase SMDB okay it's phase SMDB so this is the phase SMDB uh, okay from here now uh, power will distribute to the each VILA main DB so this is the main DB of the VILA uh, power coming from phase uh, SMDB and then it will fade to the light circuit and power circuit of this villa so in this way power will flow in the residential housing and resort so hope you guys understand about this basic concept of power flow in residential housing and resorts okay so please like share comments and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos thank you very much see you again in next video